Hi guys, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. This is another one of my best of 2017 video series. Today we're taking a look at small folder folders. Blah, 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 blah. So this is not my wee little knives and it's not your full folding knives. This is sort of for somebody with really small hands, uh, small ladies hands, maybe medium ladies hands, small men's hands. Or, you know, sometimes you just want to have a second knife and you know, instead of a primary one, well, not instead of, in, in addition to your primary knife, you want another knife. And it's usually a little bit smaller that you can tuck away somewhere. That's sort of the category that we're looking at today. And I've got seven different knives here today to look at. I know I was going to try to keep it down to five, but I, I just can't do it. So let's take a quick look at what we have. First off, we've got this knife here that I reviewed very recently. This is the 7112 by Sanran Yu. You've got a pocket clip, it's tipped down only. It's a slip joint, but it's got very strong detents. There's a detent right there at you know 45 degrees. And listen to this, it's solid. You have to push pretty hard to get it to start to close. And some of you guys live in places where you can only have slip joint knives. So I definitely want to include some slip joints. And I really, really like this. It comes in, I think seven or eight different colors really really nice knife you should watch my video on this if you have any feelings about this at all you can put a lanyard in the hole if you want to i've got a split ring because this knife is light enough it's right around two ounces i think it's just under two ounces I don't remember exactly but you've got a full hollow grind right to the spine of the blade very thin at the edge and i've got definite three fingers on here and I've got large hands that right border on extra large. And so this hand fits my hand. This knife fits my hand and it's a good user, very light. And it's for me small enough to hang for my keychain. And I use it that way a lot, even though I've only had it for about three weeks, about four weeks. Yeah, I got it at the end of November, last week of November. Second knife is this guy right here. This is a Ganzo. Of course, it's a clone of a uh, bird knife from uh, Spyderco series. This is the F759M. You've got one option for a mostly serrated with about two thirds serrated and one third fine edge. That comes in black. Uh, this one comes in, I think, five different colors. You can have pink if you've got a uh, somebody in your life who wants a pink handled knife. This is sort of a uh, FRN, fiber reinforced nylon kind of handle. Nice pocket uh, clip. It's a four-way pocket clip. You don't have to have it tipped down like I have it. You can have it tip up, right or left. So four ways. Back lock. So it's 100% ambidextrous. Absolutely everybody in the world can use this if they're allowed to have a locking knife. Uh, you've got a half and half forward choil right here so you can sneak up with your hand right there. Nice big ramp up here. You know, it's a good design. Spyderco did a really good job with designing this knife. And so it fits my hand very well, but because it's so light and easy, I've included it in this group. You got a nice uh, 440C stainless steel blade. And there you have it. You even have a choice of putting in a paracord right there. It's got a lanyard hole. Instead of being right at the end, it's right there, but that's okay. Number three is this knife. This is another slip joint by Sanran Mew. And it's a, another look at a Spyderco style knife. Although I don't know of any Spyderco knife that has a uh, bottle opener at the back like this one is. So you've got a very good functional bottle opener. I've got a little lanyard hole there that I put a split ring on because again, this is small enough for me to put on my keychain. We've got another half and half choil up here, half blade, half on the handle. And so I get all four fingers on here. And this is a small knife and it just barely fits, but mostly it's a three finger kind of hold. Very comfortable in hand. Um, I can't remember if this is Sandvik steel or if it's 8CR14 or something like that, but this is the 6020, if I remember correctly. Yes, this is the 6020 RUC. The slip joint is very strong, but if you've got your hand on this forward choil, your finger there being used protects it from being able to close on your hand. So it's a very safe slip joint. 
I know a lot of you guys live in places that view my channel that need to, you know, if you're carrying a knife, it has to be a slip joint. And this thing's a really nice choice because you can open up your brewski at the end of the day if it's a bottled one. If you're in Germany, go to a pub for crying out loud. Boy, my son went to Germany a couple of years ago for a co-op program for his mining engineer degree. And uh, he was working in one of the towns in Germany. I think it was one of the, one of the small cities. I think it was 45,000 people in that city, whatever it is. And he said the German beer in the pubs is to die for. Germany, I knew German beer is good to start with, but Anyhow, back to this knife. <laughs> this is a really nice slip joint if you're looking for something small and light and easy to carry. And, you know, the bottle opener works when you've got the knife closed, no problem. Good choice. Next, we've got a actual Spyderco, finally. <laughs> and so if you want to give Spyderco their dues, you know, you can get one of these. Spyderco has got a load of wee little knives that, you know, you can get. This is made in China, made by the San Ren Mu Corporation, which is why San Ren Mu knives, you can see the quality right there because it's very, very similar. And the quality is right up there. This is 8CR13, full flat grind. And again, uh, your finger goes in this forward toil right there and stops it from closing on your hand. Slip joint and, you know, a nice fine blade. If you don't want a fine blade, if you need a serrated blade, you pull that guy out, and the same way, your finger goes right there and keeps it secure. And uh, you know, you cut what you need to cut with the serrated blade. I really like having that two-blade option. You've also got a lanyard hole right there, so you could put it on a keychain or put a lanyard on it uh, separately. You have a pocket clip that you can use it that way. It's one side only. Uh, it really doesn't make a difference on a knife like this if it's right or left. You know, this isn't a quick deployment fighting knife. So there you go. A nice little knife. Lots of choices. The This is, uh, what's the model name for it? The C176 P and S for plain and serrated. There's a lot of different knives in this series. A whole bunch of Spyderco knives. Some of them are called the Bug Series all kinds of different names, but there's a whole bunch of little knives that's, uh, San, that San Ramu has made for Spyderco. And so they're made in China, but they're really good knives. Their price is a little bit up there because it's got the Spyderco name instead of the San Ramu name. Next is a knife that I just reviewed. Well, actually, the day I'm recording this is the day that this review came out. And this is a wonderful little knife. It's the San Ramu 7129. You've got an etched in, a laser etched in dragon on the side. Uh, yeah, pocket clip, it's right side only, but it's, you know, a tip up pocket clip. There's a dragon on the side. It's a frame lock. You've got nice thumb studs. It's a very nice knife, full flat grind. I can't say enough about this knife, partly because I just did the review and I really, really enjoy this knife an awful lot. Uh, my son, uh, my oldest son, he really likes dragons. He's the guy that went to Germany. And so I'm getting him one. Uh, he's getting married in May. That's not his wedding gift, but, you know, he's still, unfortunately, hasn't found a mining job since university. So he's living at home and uh, working at a grocery store for, but he's worked his way up to third. There's the owner, boss, there's the head manager, and he's third in line already. Um, so he's got a good head on his shoulders and he knows how to work with people. And if anybody's looking for, if anybody's involved in mining in Canada, if you need a junior mine engineer, contact me. My son got good grades. He's just having a tough time finding a junior mine engineer uh, program, uh, employment that he can get a good job. Um, and since he's getting in May, he really needs a good job. So if you know anybody that can help him get a job in that area, contact me. Back to the knife. Really like this knife an awful lot. It fits in the hand very well. Very light. Uh, is it 1.9 ounces? I think something like that. And keychain, as a keychain knife, it works that way as well. What do we have next? Honorable mention. We have two honorable mentions. That's because 
I did the review of the 7071 uh, back in 2016, but I didn't have this knife. I just had the version that has G10 on the outside, and those are liner locks. This is the frame lock, but it's got the same model number. But it's a frame lock and not a liner lock, so it's it's a different knife in my mind. So I'm including it. I might do a separate review video of this. You tell me. Uh, should I do a separate video from the frame lock from the, as opposed to the liner lock version of the 7071? Let me know. What we've got is a Tanto blade. Uh, multi-grind. It's a hollow grind here and a saber grind at the tip. Uh, it's got this exact same pattern in here that some of the G10 version has. You've only got a tip down pocket clip, but it's one of those over the top pocket clips, so really deep carry. Uh, Sandvik steel blade, and it's just a nice small knife. It's got a bit of weight to it because these handle scales, this frame scales are you know, chunky kind of stainless steel. Uh, this is a very nice knife. I like it an awful lot. And the other honorable mention is this by, is this by, by Ganzo. This is the F759, no, 753M. G10, very stabby blade, big belly. It's a small hand, hand knife. I really like this knife a lot. Now it's time to pick the winner. Okay, so I haven't picked ahead of time what the winners are. I just made my list and put in what I've got in there. And so I'm gonna, I've got them all on my table right here. I'm gonna take a last look over them and pick the winner. And the winner is, it's the 60-20 to be honest with you. I really, really like this knife. Uh, even though it's got a birdie on the side, a bird. <laughs> Feels really good, looks really good, super functional. Uh, you know, bonus is having that bottle opener, although I tend to say I don't really need a bottle opener. But this is a very nice, rock-solid, strong knife. What comes in second place? Well, it's the Genuine Spider Co. There are times when you need a serrated blade. And I hate having blades that are part serrated and part fine edge. And this guy solves both of those. It serrated when you want it, fine edge when you want it, in a small package, easy to carry, and, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but I really, really like this spider coat. So there you go. Those two knives are the winners. All of these knives are winners, actually, because they're all in the short list. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and all that other good stuff. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Chum is an old English word for friend, buddy, pal, the other guy. Cut towards him or her, not yourself. I did. Ouch. So I thank you for watching this. If you're going to be buying one of the products from GearBest, thank you very much for using my links. I really appreciate it. And if you really want to help out the channel and you're watching a video that's more than 30 days old, uh, please help me out by finding a new video of mine that has a GearBest product in it. And I'm going to, hopefully I'm going to remember to keep putting GearBest in the title somewhere so that you can, you know, see the newer video. If you use a link from a new video and then you go and search for the product that you're looking for and you find it, I know it's a little bit more work, but then I will get a referral credit for it. Because if you're clicking on a link that's more than 30 days old, GearBest won't give me any referral credit for that purchase. So if you do want to help out Canadian Cutting Edge without it costing you any more money at all, find a new link or on a video that's less than 30 days old, get to GearBest that way. You shouldn't have any GearBest web pages open before you start this. And then do a search for the product, just the brand name and the model number, it will get you there. And then whatever you buy at GearBest at all, you know, say you want to buy some, you know, kitchen wares or whatever. If you start off with one of my knife links and you get to your best and you go and buy that stuff, I will still get that little bit of a referral bonus for it. It's a great way that you can help me out. I thank you so much for that. I appreciate it tremendously. It does make a big difference to the uh, growth and the health of my own personal uh, 
YouTube budget uh, because I'm on a disability pension. I don't have a lot of income and you guys are just great by helping me out. It really means a lot. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and all that really good stuff. I've got a few more best of 2017 videos coming out to you guys this week. They're all going to be published between Christmas and New Year's. Thanks for watching. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.